Hi fellow dog fanciers, welcome back to a new video. I know what you're thinking, there are no whippets in the frame. Where are my crickets at? But the reason for that is, first of all, um, I'm filming at the moment when no whippets are here. Second of all, that's a pretty smart idea to not have whippets around because I'm going to be showing you some treats and chew toys uh, which wouldn't survive for the video if any of my whippets were around. Today I'm going to show you what I feed my whippets as well as what is my criteria for treats and chew toys. I will also focus on what I consider healthy and unhealthy, but in terms of diet, what you're going to see is what works for my whippets. Before we get started, subscribe if you haven't done so yet so that you don't miss any hound content and any hot topics that will be coming up. Let's get into the video. Starting off with their main diet, I have mentioned before that for breakfast they have kibble and for dinner they eat raw meat. Ideally, we would like to switch to raw completely, however, this is such a complicated area and a topic that we don't feel like we know enough just yet uh, to do that and we are still at the 50-50 stage. The kibble we feed is Happy Dog. We find this to be a very good quality uh, kibble. The whippets like it and they do just fine on it. And considering they're very picky sometimes, uh, the fact that they like it is a very good sign. In the past we used to give them free access to kibble whenever they wanted some, however we noticed some weight gain, so we stopped doing that and instead their bowl is available for one hour in the morning uh, and after that it vanishes. And that also teaches some discipline because they know that if they're hungry they should eat now, otherwise their next meal is going to be in the evening. For dinner it's raw meat and we're at chicken again. Uh, this is meat and the bones blended together. Additionally, we blend in some organ meats such as kidney, liver, uh, hearts, lungs, etc. A variety of safe vegetables and one type of fruit which mostly is apple together with some seeds homemade yogurt and boiled eggs with the shell. The reason why everything is blended in together and looks kind of disgusting and not as appetizing as pictures of these barf meals is because if everything was apart, placed in the bowl, they would take a piece of something, go elsewhere to eat it and then at the end they would leave out the vegetables and we would never know how much uh, each and every one of our whippets ate. Speaking about liver, when it comes to ratio, that should be 5% of the whole daily food intake of your dog. Liver is very healthy, but more than that will cause vitamin A toxicity, leading to horrible and very unnecessary side effects. Also, if you decide to give bones to your dog, Never, never, never ever give them cooked bones. I've had people ask me like, hey, I had no idea you can feed your dogs raw bones. I always give them cooked and I'm like so terrified for the poor dog's health. Cooked bones when chewed up splinter into razor sharp pieces that can cause damage and even rupture your dog's mouth, throat and intestines. So if you're going to feed bones, please, 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 please only give raw bones. Most bones are safe to feed raw. Now let's move on to treats. I will divide them into three main groups. The first one being treats that keep your dog busy for a longer period of time. Second one being treats that are adding some type of dietary enrichment to your dog's uh, diet. And the third ones being treats for training. My criteria for feeding treats is for them to be as clean and as healthy as possible. In other words, when you look at the ingredient list, the simpler and the more natural, the better. 
I am very mindful of what I eat myself and I apply the same approach to my dogs because let's not forget that our dogs are a part of our lives but to them we are their whole life and we should make sure that they live the happiest and healthiest of life possible. Starting with those chews or chew toys that keep your dog busy for longer periods of time. We use hard and sturdy chew toys which we fill up with homemade peanut butter. And the reason why we make our own is because the ones that are sold in stores are filled up with junk and palm oil which is bad for our and our dog's health and especially for the cardiovascular system and on top of all it is very harmful to the environment as it heavily contributes to the deforestation. So if you're going to use peanut butter that is sold in the stores, please go through the ingredient list and make sure that there is no palm oil in it. These toys keep them busy and entertained for a minimum of one hour. If you are by chance a fan of the Kong type toys, just go for it. Uh, the reason why we don't use them is because our dogs are not so amused by them. Next up we have treats that add some sort of an enrichment to your dog's diet. And in particular uh, trees that are chewed up faster and trees that are not really suitable for training. Here again we make our own and we use two types of chews slash treats and these are uh, what we call salami for dogs and chicken necks. Raw air dried chicken necks to be more precise. I know what this looks like but if it was what you thought it was I was not going to show it on camera let alone hold it. This is the dog salami and it is made out of 100% chicken plus bones blended together. And these have been air dried outside in the cold weather. The chicken necks are dried the exact same way and I'm not over exaggerating if I tell you that we have a hundred kilos of both stored in airtight bags. I realize that not everyone has the time and the resources to make these exact treats at home so what I'm going to advise you is to first of all stay far away from rawhide. It is toxic and dangerous. Other than that, you can look for dehydrated tendons, traheas or antlers. Just shoes that don't require a bunch of toxic elements and complicated processes to make. Giving fruit and vegetables to your dog is a wonderful way to ensure that you're providing fresh nutrients and components to your pet's diet. Unfortunately though, most dogs really don't like them. That's why we blend them in the food because my adult whippets would never touch anything that grows from the ground or on a tree in its natural form. The youngsters however like certain types of fruit and vegetables and I use their curiosity at a very early age to teach them that. Now I sit down with a fruit or a vegetable and I call them to me and they're very grateful that I'm sharing some of my non-meaty uh, food with them. And don't worry, this doesn't ruin the discipline because I call them into my personal space to share something with them instead of sharing my plate when they invade my personal space. If you feed fruit, vegetables or nuts, please once more make sure that they're safe for your dog because there are some such as grapes and walnuts that can be very toxic. Last but not least, we have treats for training and here is where I allow the more junk uh, types of food while still putting my best of efforts in keeping things within some healthy guidelines. Whippets will only do something for you in return of treats and spoiling. And I understand in a way because if you want me to put a lot of effort into something and you offer me a carrot in return, you can stick that carrot up your if you offer me chocolate on the other hand, now we're talking. So for treats I want something that they find appetizing and treats here change often because I don't want them to become boring. Currently these are my Whippet's all-time favorite treats and I found them by accident and the moment I took out the package and I was about to open it, I was swarmed by my pack. They smell like a mixture between a whiskey cocktail sauce and a barbecue sauce. In terms of ingredients, the company claims that this is freeze-dried meat with no uh, additives and no animal byproducts. Do I believe these are 100% natural? 
Not entirely, because this amazing smell has to come from somewhere. But they have no harmful ingredients and they're purely 100% for the purpose of training, which means that they don't eat them all day every single day. So this is the complete up-to-date list of what my dogs have in terms of food, treats and chews. I hope you find the video enjoyable and informative, have a wonderful weekend and a very chill week afterwards, don't overdo it, I will see you next Friday with a new video, bye bye!